Hi guys, Everyday Knife Guy here, and finally back with another video. Sorry for the delay, but snatching a brief interlude in work today uh, to get this done. This is a product that was sent to me very generously by Ryan at Pop Off Leather, and it's a beautiful piece of handmade leather work. So, very excited to show you this, and uh, even better, and unusually, this is handmade in Canada. So, Pop Off Leather is the name of the manufacturer, as you can see www.popofleather.com and if you're in Canada you can go to popofleather.ca and it's handmade in beautiful British Columbia, Canada. So pretty cool, thank you very much for sending me this round, very excited. Um, this is the five card wallet and Pop of Leather has a number of different products so if you'll look on the website which it, you know by the by is a very very slick website uh, you will see they make field note covers uh, different sizes of wallets, uh, I think there's a passport cover, various bits and pieces like that, all the kind of standard stuff. Uh, this is fully handmade, Horween leather, and you can see this is a, well hopefully you can see, depending on the colour correction of my camera, this is a beautiful kind of chestnut, um, almost milk chocolate colour leather with a nice red, um, kind of a red, almost a reddish pink accent stitching. Looks really really good on this colour. Uh, initially, you can see there the dimensions of this are pretty small. Looks like we have a business card in here. It says popoffleather.com as is email address there if you want to send him any questions. And a little bit about taking care of leather on the back. So one thing that stands out about this product is really, really good detailing. Uh, right from the fact that it comes in this rather nice uh, cardboard packaging. Uh, the website, as I say, is extremely slick and very informative. Gives you answers all your questions basically. Uh, very nice visually. Another nice little touch in the box came this very cool sticker, which is uh, a little unusual but pretty cool. I don't know when I'm going to put that on, but we'll definitely find something. And the, le the leather work itself, I mean, the detailing on this is excellent. The cuts are super clean. Uh, the stitching is immaculate. Um, the edges are burnished really, really nicely and evenly. And uh, just overall, I mean, it's just perfect straight lines, neat edges. Uh, being something that is fully handmade, really, really high quality. Uh, a few little marks and stuff in the leather, and as Ryan says, it's completely natural. This is a handmade product from um, a natural material, so that you fully expect that. So pretty small in dimensions. Uh, if you've been watching the channel for a while, uh, you guys know that I like minimalist wallets. The one I've been using until I received this is the Armitus Carry uh, Vita EDC wallet, which is a Kydex wallet. You can see pretty much uh, the same dimensions, not a lot bigger this leather version and this isn't just a you know kind of a card slip this is called a five pocket as I said or five card wallet rather so we have two larger pockets inside then these outer ones and of course a flap on the back so I guess the next thing to do is to go ahead and unpack this off camera and see how much we can fit into here I'm not expecting to fit all of this in as you can see this is slightly overloaded this is supposed to be closed shut here uh, but I have about eight cards and cash in there and it's absolutely stuffed I can hardly get the snap closed um, so I'm going to go ahead and unpack this, see if we can pack it into the pop of leather 5 card wallet and see how much it holds. I will be right back. Okay, so I have packed in the 5 cards of uh, the name of this wallet, I guess, plus a $20 Canadian note. And as you can see, the form of the wallet hasn't really fattened out too much, so it's definitely a very slim front pocket wallet. There's the Armitus Carry uh, fully unloaded. So you can see it's pretty much the same thickness as that. Obviously this is a more flexible squashy material so you could definitely carry those five cards plus cash pretty comfortably. Um, I think you could probably quite easily get a few more in here. If we were to put another, maybe these back two slots you could probably put two, uh, one here, one here, one in the back. And the way I would use this would be to keep my most used card which unfortunately is a debit card. Uh, I like it to be like a you know, a rewards card or something, but it's a debit card for my business. I would keep that in the back probably with that 20 note, and then I can quite easily pull that out and in, you see. Um, and on the inside, I have a couple there, a couple there, and a couple there. So probably, yeah, I think I could probably fit the eight. Um, so there's, well, there's six in there already, and it's really not too fat at all. I could definitely carry that front pocket. Um, so I could carry probably the eight cards plus uh, my emergency 20 note, and uh, be pretty comfortable. So... Yeah, I mean, overall, it's a beautiful little product, and as with all leather, this is going to weather and uh, wear rather uh, really, really nicely. So, really looking forward to seeing the kind of um, 
patina and tannins this takes on and the markings it gets from pocket carry and use. And I think this is going to be a really nice little piece. See there's a little bit of uh, flexibility that way as well which is probably going to make this quite a comfortable pocket carry. I haven't used it yet because I did want to keep it uh, immaculate in the box until I had time to make this video. Uh, but I'm certainly looking forward to doing so. Uh, yeah guys, so this is currently on sale I think on popofleather.com which is the American site. Uh, let me just double check here. It's regularly 54 US dollars and is down to 34 at the moment which I think is a pretty good deal on something handcrafted and uh, really any leather goods these days. $34 um, is a pretty good price for something that's fully handmade and from quality materials too. So. Uh, I think that about wraps it up guys. I might do an update on this or if I do an EDC uh, dump video at some point I'm going to carry this now for quite some time and see how I like it and I'll give you an update on that in future. I'll just show you the website address one more time and if I remember I'll put it in the description. Uh, so do go check out popofleather.com. There's some very cool looking stuff and of course all the usual variations in leather you can select. Uh, and I believe you can customize your stitching and do all sorts of stuff like that. So do go check them out. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching this uh, overview of the Popov 5 card leather wallet. I'll be back with more videos soon. Cheers and have a great day.